it feels good to be back, man. You know, I think um, normally when situations like this come, you never really know what to say. But you often appreciate the fact that now the U.S. is actually now paying, paying a lot more attention to Africa, which is amazing for us because I always felt like the, the unity between Africans and African Americans is going to be the key for Africa's people to be free. You know, I don't think sometimes, even in the U.S., you know, how important the connection to their root is. And they oftentimes don't believe it or feel it until they come here. You know, because all the new visitors that's here now are super excited and wish they could have came a lot earlier and was like, man, I didn't realize Africa was like this. You know, so it's always a good feeling when they come and give good, great praises to Africa and they also recognize the powers that Africa has in themselves because oftentimes as an African American, when you're in the U.S., you don't know what you're missing. You know, you know, you feel like there's something missing. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like it's something in my life that's just not complete. And when they come to Africa, they find that missing puzzle because it's more of a spiritual thing than it is physical. So it's often great times to be a part of just an acknowledgement of what their history is and being able to be able to welcome them back to that history. So they've been taking a lot of, you know, tours throughout the city. They went to the slavery marks and everything like that. And they're really getting a jits of, you know, the beginning of how they even made it to the U.S. in the first place. So, you know, oftentimes when they come, they have these crazy uh, uh, myths that U.S. history teaches African Americans about black history. And they really don't know, you know, until they come in and realize there's nothing that, or nothing like how they was taught it to be. So it's always a great thing, man. And you know, the hospitality here, these guys are having such a great time. They can't stop eating the food here. They don't know why they love Jello Fries so much. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> They're like, man, this rice is good, goddamn. <laughs> You know, but it's, it's, it's just amazing, man, to see that, you know, and I think every year is only going to get bigger and it's going to get to the point where they're just going to want to relocate and just be here forever, mm -hmm. you know, because often, as you know, here, the, the troubles they're dealing with back in the U.S., they don't have to deal with it here. So if all their money, resources, talents, knowledge was all invested back home in Africa, we could rebuild this country in no time. So it's really going to be a collaboration between the two worlds to make that work. But ultimately, man, just wanted to thank you guys for the amazing welcome that you guys always give me, the support, also that you give me worldwide to allow me to do what I do. And just know if I'm always here working for you, man. So thank you guys for everything.